Hi there, my name is Samantha Gibson. This is the walkthrough for my uh, fifth and final portfolio project for the Flatiron School's online web development program. This project required me to create uh, a web application with a Rails API backend and a React with Redux frontend. I chose to create this website that lets us play uh, a card game called The Game. Uh, as you see here, developed by IDW Games. Um, let's pop over to the rules so I can talk you through how the game works, and then I can show you uh, how I put together a gameplay. And we can see the other uh, routes available in the application. So the goal of our game is to run out a deck of cards by playing them in ascending or descending order on uh, four different piles. Here we're going to get um, two cards with a one on them, beginning two different piles, and two cards with a 100 on them that'll also be, that will begin two other piles for four total. Then we'll get 98 cards with the numbers 2 through 99 on them. That's our deck that we're trying to deplete. Um, so when a game starts, we'll get four piles, two ones, two one hundreds, and a player will be dealt seven cards into their hand. Every turn you have to play at least two cards um, before you can get dealt uh, back up to seven. A card is played by putting it on one of the piles. Um, again, cards placed on the one hundreds have to be smaller than the pile's top card, and cards played on the ones have to be larger than the pile's top card. Except, you can play out of order if the card that you want to play's value is exactly 10 greater or less than the pile's topmost card. After you've played at least two cards, um, you can, you'll get a little end turn button and you can click on that, end your turn, and get dealt back up to seven cards. You keep taking turns until you run out the deck and you win. Congratulations to you. Or uh, you run out of valid moves and you lose. Uh, that's the gist. Let's pop over here to new game and start ourselves a new game. Okay, so in this form we just need to say who is playing. I will say that I am playing. Um, and then when we submit this form, it's going to uh, send an asynchronous fetch request to our back end that will post uh, this player name to games URL, um, get to our games controllers create action, make us up a new game, um, and then once that request resolves, so once we know that we have a new game and we've gotten the information back accurately, um, this will redirect us to that newly created games show page based on the, the ID um, based on some information that we get back from the back end. So let's go ahead and click start a new game, start up that game. All right, so we can see our brand new game. Uh, the way we started, so we started out with 98 cards in the deck. Remember, uh, seven were dealt to me, the player. There are my seven cards in my hand. Um, so we've got 98 left. Let's get to playing. Okay, so how do we want to do this? Uh, so easy peasy, uh, we can. The easiest move I think is our 99 on 100. It's pretty clear. Uh, when we click on a card, we select it. We click on it again. We'll deselect it. Um, same deal. We can click on a pile. Click on it again to deselect it. Or if we click on a pile, say I didn't want that one. Click on this one. Deselect the other. Um, and I'm keeping track of which card you and pile you've selected in the Redux store to hold on to that information until you um, make a move, at which point I send some data back to the back end to persist that in our database. So let's go ahead and make a move. Uh, let's play that 99 card, on the 100 pile. It's valid, so we get this um, little message and um, a button to play. I'm going to go ahead and play that card. Uh, let's see, what else could we do? Let's... Um, Let's set up an invalid move so we can see what that does. So we'll select this 21, play it on our ascending pile, and then, um, okay, so we, since we played two cards, we could end our turn and 
get dealt back up to 7, but we're going to skip that for just a quick second. We're going to select 20 and 21. Ah, and we're going to be told that we can't do that because 20 is less than 21. We need to be counting up on that pile. Okay, so we're going to unclick those, end our turn, um, and we'll see that when we ended the turn, we got additional cards dealt into our hand. The number of cards in the deck went down, and we're ready to play again. Um, we could navigate away from this uh, at really any point um, and come back to it and it'll save our progress um, because we're persisting every move and every end of turn to the database. So um, if you select a pile and a card and then navigate away and come back, that information is going to be gone. But every move you make and whether or not you completed a turn will be kept in the database and you can come back and forth to it. Um, let's... I guess we could play one more. Why not? Uh, put it there. Put eight five there. Play that. We end our turn. And we kind of keep going like that until either... Um, this got down to zero, somebody won, and, or um, or you run out of valid moves. Uh, and I think, let's pop over here to our index of all the games. So if we navigated away from a game, we wanted to come back to it after a while, um, this is where we go, to our index. And all of these are links to show pages for these games. So I was playing with my last initial, so that's where we were. Nice, nice. Let me go back. Um, and this game I have played until I lost. So let's take a look. Um, and there we'll see that when uh, run out of valid moves or if you've won, you get this little game over banner and it'll let us know that we can't play any longer. Uh, that's kind of the gist. This will take us back to the, um, to my route. Um, that's about it. It lets you play the game. Um, it'll save all your moves and uh, turns. You can create a new game from the form uh, in slash new. That's about it. If you guys uh, want to check out the code, I will put the GitHub repository that all of this is saved in into the comments um, and uh, either in the, that, in the extra notes on this or um, at that repository, there will be uh, some contact information if you have questions or if you see things I screwed up that you want to help me out with. Uh, all of that would be great. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.